What's up guys, CW Summoner 51 today. I am uh, doing, it's been a while since I've uh, done a video. And today I'm doing my raw experience from July 4th, which it's over a week ago now. But I spent all last week trying to make the day in the life video. But I tried and tried and tried to edit it, but it just never worked out that way. So I didn't uh, ever get to edit it. No software would let me edit, like take the files, the videos, so. And the ones that did wanted me to pay, so I didn't have money, so I wasn't going to do that. But, um, <clears throat> yes, so I did go to Raw on July 5th because Friday before that, uh, my... It's, he's like my mom's cousin, but he's more of an uncle to me because like, we're that close with him or whatever. Uh, like, was like, if you want to go, find tickets, I'll take you because like, his son wanted to go. And I was like, alright, so we found tickets that were decent, or were pretty cheap. But then I looked on Ticketmaster the next day and found better tickets for a cheaper price, but it was, oh well. I went on SeatGeek because I listened to Sam Roberts' show and the, um, got $20.00. Got a $20 rebate using the SAM promo code, so that's that. Um, but yeah, so we did that. Had pretty good seats. Um, trying to find this real quick. Section 107, row Q, seats 8, 9, 10, I think. Or 10, 11, 12, I don't remember, honestly. But. It was a fun time, very fun time. Got there early, of course, had to go hit up the merch stands. I was just making sure this recorded because this happened to me once before, where I hit it, thought it recorded, but it wasn't. Hit the merch stands, of course, I got the $2 cup. Gotta get a cup whenever I go. I've got, one, two, three, four. I think this is my fifth different cup, maybe even more now. I like this one a lot though. It's got Sasha, Charlotte, New Day, Owens, big, awesome to see Owens on a cup. Dean, Brock, Roman, and Cena. I really like this cup. Um, had to get just I saw them there. I needed them. The Becky Lynch goggles. Had to get the Becky Lynch goggles. Got it, the new John Cena shirt. I really I like this shirt a lot. This looks very small for me to. Now that I'm seeing it again, um, but I like this shirt just because of like all the uh, I guess controversy around it. I decided I should probably go ahead and get it. You can't see me on the uh, sleeve and then the John Cena hand sign, and then never give up big on the back. Like that takes up the whole back. And then when we after we sat down, I went back up to go get uh oh crap I don't have something else that I bought <laughs> but I we I went back up to go to the bathroom and get some other stuff that I had wanted which was of course a John Cena towel I always got to get towels I've got the blue one I've got the black and green one and now I've got this red one so. Adding on to my John Cena towel collection. And while I was up there, my little cousin wanted one. So I got up there. I was like, just wanting to get back to my seat. So I was like, antsy. And then, like, I saw that they were just giving towels were going. So I was like, crap. I get up there. They have that towel left on the, like, with all the stuff. And then the one display towel. So she took that one down for me. So I got the last two towels at the merch stand that I went to. So I was incredibly happy. While I was also up there, I saw some other things I wanted to get, like a Connor's Cure bracelet because my one I got a year ago, a year and a half ago now, broke. But it's not on me because it's still too small for my wrist. Like it almost cuts off circulation, so I have to like keep the beads and just like get a different band thing, whatever. And then I saw this and I could not resist the Bootios box for just five bucks. They sold the box by itself. I had to get it. Because I wanted the box and like shirt thing. 
since they started making them. But when I saw I could get the box itself for just five bucks, it was like, count me in. The shirt's cool and all, but I wanted the box. Just because it's, it's a WWE cereal box. It's so awesome. So I had to get that. Dang it, Jimmy Jacobs quit retweeting stuff. Okay, so Raw. Um, before Raw, of course, uh, we have Superstars matches. Uh, there was no pre-show dark match, but we had uh, Superstars matches. First one was Brizongo versus the Shining Stars, which I mean, I like. I like the Shining Stars. I really enjoy Primo and Epico. I think they're very good, and I like them. So, and then I love Tyler Breeze, and Fondango was pretty cool. So I was really into this match. I was into every match that there was that this night. But like for being a superstars match, I was into it. Nobody else like around me was. I was into this match. Honestly, I think the Shining Stars one couldn't remember much. I don't. I don't have great memories. Like when it comes to stuff that I haven't watched back yet. And I have not watched Superstars back. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun match for what it was. Next match was another tag team match. The Ascension. Which I guess this was like Connor's first match back on TV. I don't, I don't know. Against um, the Usos. Which I always love to see the Usos. I'm not too high on the Ascension, but like... There's nobody on the WWE roster that I truthfully think, think does not deserve their job. It was Rusev and Bo for a while. But Bo, he's not won me over as much as Rusev, but he's still kind of done it. But the Ascension are like on oh, there's guys that I don't care for, but I don't hate. But uh, this was a great match. Uh, well, not great, but it was fun again. Superstars, it's a fun show. Just to, like, get the crowd amped up, I guess. And, uh, splashes, the Usos win. Greg Hamilton, something I want to say. Greg Hamilton is a really good announcer. I like this guy. I liked him when he was the hype man for the first NXT Columbus show. And then he was the Arnold, and I just like seeing every time I see him, like, since. Which this is the first time I've seen him. No, he was, he was at the... June Columbus show, and then he just has been main roster, and I haven't been to a main roster show until Raw. Um, but yeah. Then Raw starts. Uh, Lily Garcia sings. Uh, did she sing the national anthem or American Beautiful? I think it was national anthem. And uh, a Patreon video on the Tron, whatever. Then we go to the food fight. Or was the food fight then, like, I don't know. I don't know if it was food fight, then a uh, intro video, then Lillian, or Lillian. Or intro video, Lillian, then food fight. But whatever. Food fight happens. Real show now. Food fight happens. It, I laughing at a lot of the stuff. Just fun. And then Rusev versus... Uh, Titus O'Neil for the U.S. title. Dang it, I didn't mean about that. Uh, very weird, very quick match for being the title match. Rusev won, which was, I guess, I don't know. I mean, now, in hindsight, I'm kind of happy. Because that means some other stuff happens, but I'll get into that. The last, the main event. Well, not the main event, main event, but the main event of the show. Not the main event of the night. But, um, yeah, just very weird, very weird. Um, oh yeah, then the Social Outcast Minutemen come out, I laughed at this just because the Social Outcasts are funny. Three men banned essentially again. But um, and then Enzo Mori, Colin Cassidy, always so cool to see those two. I love Enzo and Cass, they're two of the coolest guys. Very nice. Um, I just always think back to the meeting them at the Arnold in uh. 2015 just they were so cool to me i had a crappy picture that or else it would get framed up 
where Enzo like where his he like speech bubble and wrote soft coming out of his mouth. So I I'll, I'll always love those guys. So it's cool to see that over they're, they're so over. It's it's really great to see the naming the presidents just like that. Great. Something like from second grade that he can still use is pretty cool. So, but then they, of course, get the fast win on him, which was, I guess, pretty good. Then, uh, Charlotte comes out, talks about how she's the real boss. Sasha, of course, comes out, leads to a brawl, blah, blah, blah. It was a pretty okay segment. I don't know. Not much more to really say about it. Uh, champion versus champion. Dean Ambrose versus The Miz. I'm I'm so happy to see The Miz as champion live in his home state. First time TV in his home state as champion. It's really cool. And I'm excited to foresee this Ambrose reign. This was actually a really cool match. I liked it a lot. Dean, of course, wouldn't. Miz, no way. No way Miz is going to win. So... But then the altercation, no, 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 that happens after this match. So Dean leaves, Seth comes out, they pass, Dean's music comes back on, Dean goes to the announce table, which was awesome. So then we got Rollins versus Dolph Ziggler, which is a pretty cool match. There was not a bad match this night. I did, if I already said that, I don't know if I did or that was something in my head. I probably already said it, and now I'm repeating myself like an idiot. But, um, I liked this match a lot. And TV, it might be match of the night, I'd say. The Ambrose or this were match of the night for TV-wise. Um, but, yeah. Of course, Rollins wins because he's going to the WWE title match. And, uh... The altercation between Dean and Seth was really cool. He's like, if you want it, take it. Throws the title at him and it just goes at him. And I was hoping the Spanish announce table would break, but it didn't. Vicky Guerrero shows up. That was actually hilarious. I enjoyed the segment. I don't know about other people. Vicky was just like... Vicky is very nostalgic for me as in like when I was a kid and like that sounds weird to think because I'm like it wasn't that long ago but I was still like so much younger than like when Vicky first started coming around than now and like I don't know it's just yeah it's very like it brings me back to when I was a kid and wrestling it was still I don't know yeah, so I enjoyed it. And then the match that nobody really cared or likes because of what the implications it has. Vaud Villains versus Golden Truth. The Golden Truth destroys the Vaud Villains in like 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Um uh, I hope this isn't the end for the Vaud Villains big push because I really enjoy them as a team. And there are two other guys that are really cool. I met them, uh the 2015 Arnold and just Simon Gotch is hilarious. So is Aiden English. So they have a really good potential, I think. They just need to be shown it. And then John Cena comes out, calls out the club. And then, oh, oh my gosh, I love this whole segment. I loved everything about the show. But this segment in particular is like one of my more favorite moments of the night. Uh, John C is coming out talking about them. Like I don't, I can't remember specific quotes, but the club comes out and hashtag beat up John Cena is born in just the funniest. Carl, what are you gonna do for Christmas? Well, I'm gonna rob wrap presents for my kids with my hot Asian wife, and then I'm beat up John Cena. The hot Asian wife thing, I, I popped so loud. Nobody I think else in my section got it. I just started dying. I was like, yes, hot Asian wife, hilarious. Um But that was that was actually really I loved that part. 
just for hot Asian wife, but then Enzo and Cass make the save after they try to beat up Cena, so. Which leads us to Battleground now, six-man tag, the club versus Cena, Enzo, and Cass. Becky Lynch versus Summer Rae, something I was super excited for because I really like Summer, so I was excited to actually see Summer, and Becky's my favorite the women's wrestler on the main roster right now, so it was awesome to see her wrestle, and of course, I had the goggles on. I had them on that match, like there, I don't know. Of course, Becky got the win, um, which was fun. I say fun a lot in these videos because I don't know. New Day come out and then the Wyatts thing. Xavier, really good on this, like, just, I don't know. I This built up to... Something I hope to do a total marks on what Thursday to talk about a lot of wrestling stuff that I need to <laughs> but Yeah, this built up to some fun stuff and I'm excited to see where this whole Wyatt uh, New Day thing takes off then we have Moment of the night for me team USA versus the international or the what do they call themselves? The Multinational Alliance. So we had Jericho, Sami Zayn. This is going to be off the top of my head. I'm going to try it. So Cesaro, Chris Jericho, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Lucha Dragons, Sheamus, and who else? This is, this is going to kill me. I can't figure this out off the top of my head. Del Rio. Of course, Del Rio. And then taking on, representing Team USA, Big Show. Kane, uh, so I guess hell is the USA, which I mean, <laughs> but uh, Big Show, Kane, Swagger, of course, Mark Henry, of course, uh, tr I'm trying to go off these, there's one person I know for sure that I want to save his last though, gosh dang it, no, that's not what I wanted, um, the Dudleys, Apollo Crews, and the man, Zack Ryder, I was so happy when I saw him, on the, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess promo for this match because uh, when he wasn't on Superstars, I was bummed because I was like, no, I want to see Zach. I wore my I Still Woo Woo, -woo shirt because, like, I wanted to support Zach. I brought a Welcome to Brohio sign because I couldn't fit Columbus Brohio as Ryder Town because I ruined the other posters I had. But, um, I was excited for Zach, had the headband on, had my I Still Woo Woo, -woo shirt, had the bro Ohio sign. It was a good time. And this match was as good as you can get for a 16-man tag. It wasn't like something you want to see, but I mean, it's something. But of course, it ended with Big Show having... Sheamus by the neck, throwing him back out to the ring. Ryder hitting the Rough Rider. One, two, three. Woo, woo, woo. Zack Ryder wins the main event of Monday Night Raw in 2016. A man who's barely been on the show. A man who won the inter inter internet intercontinental title then lost it the next day. Wins the main event of Raw. Holy cow. I was flipping my shit. I've got the video of it. And I may like upload that video as an unlisted and like link it in the description just so like my reaction's out there. Because I flipped my shit when Ryder won. But, like I immediately stopped, not like immediately, but I stopped filming like decent, kinda quick to like get the sign ups, hoping like he would see me and like point to it. It never happened, but I mean, I was so excited for Zach. And then, I've complained about it a couple times, because I've been to two Raws and one SmackDown before this. And, like, everyone talks about, like, the post-show dark match, and I've never, I'd never gotten to see a post-show dark match. July 4th, I actually got it. When John Cena, Enzo Amore, Colin Cassidy took on the club, which meant I got to see the club inside of a WWE ring, which was so happy for me to see. I got to see John Cena in another match because he is getting older. And I got to see Enzo Amore. I got to see a pre-Battleground match. 
which was awesome. Uh, this was of I like this match a lot because like I don't know AJ I bit a, a big fan of AJ. AJ was a reason for uh, that AJ and the like Jeff Hardy were reasons I watched TNA for the longest time. So getting to see that was awesome. Uh, I love I've loved the Bullet Club since its inception. Getting to see I and then Luke Gallows is the guy I fell in love with when uh he did the art of wrestling and when I listened to that and I just he's gotten awesome. So this is these are guys that I was so excited to see. John Cena, one of the reasons I'm a wrestling fan, just seeing all this happen, made this such a nice show for or a nice match for me. Cena more and Colin, of course, get the win. I don't remember how it went. No, I think like Cena FU'd or aid FU'd. I'm watching 06 Raw Hall because they just put like the first one of that year up on the network and hoping that they keep putting up more. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so very fun night. And then what's happened with Ryder since then has made me excited. Ryder, Battleground, hopefully he wins back the U.S. title or hopefully just leads to a decent story, maybe winning it at SummerSlam. And hopefully keeping it for more than 17 days or one day. But I thank you all for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll record Total Marks on Thursday just because uh, I want to do more videos. And yeah. Um, take care. Spike your hair. Woo woo woo. You know, follow me on Twitter and all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys down the road.